All right, welcome back to Dead Space 3 Original Weapons Only. Testing. Oh good, it's you again. Hello, Isaac. Sup, nerd? I know you're out there. Crawling around. Crawling in your skin? You probably think I'm an overzealous crusader. You are. Mindlessly following the whim of an angry god. It's true. Conclusion to draw, and I don't fault you for it, but it's because it's true. You may be surprised to know that I'm a man of science. And delusion. A man of fact and reason, cause and effect. Religious zealotry. And soon, you'll understand that I'm right. About being a douchebag. About everything. Gotta love all of his speeches. He's literally had me at gunpoint twice in the game. And just completely failed to kill me. I did kind of want to change this around. Because I don't think the heavy standard carbine plus shotgun. Well, the carbine and shotgun in general. Not really my cup of tea. That is a deceptively high amount of damage on the shotgun as well. I'll leave it alone for the moment. Let's continue with this. I need to. I do need to test out the uh, cryogenic torch at some point. So, Oh right, I picked up that circuit so I'll just leave that resource alone. So I did a little bit of research in between parts, and I found something out. I didn't actually know this before I started recording this. I actually need to pick this up as well. I didn't realize this before, but it turns out that when you fully upgrade the electrocution module alternate fire type thing in Dead Space 2, also there's a compact EarthGov frame, which is a godsend, it becomes the explosive module that you can get in this game. So because of that, I'm going to prohibit both modules for this playthrough for myself. I think it'll be fairer that way. It'll be the... It's the same with the rotator cuff module. And while something like putting the rotator cuff module on the line gun is something that you can absolutely do, both of them existed in previous games, so I felt like it kind of... It goes against the rules that I want to set because I want the weapons that I use to be entirely original. I don't want them to be variants. You can put the rotator cuff module, for example, oh, scavenger bot location right here. You can put the rotator cuff module on the line gun and the ripper. But both of those existed before. Also, these divider heads will turn up. I'm pretty sure they're divider heads. There's no actual full divider enemy in Dead Space 3, but the divider heads are here. There's just three of them that turn up. And if you stomp the shit out of these bodies, then they have nothing to possess and attack you with, so... Pretty handily gimps them. I found another piece of Rosetta. I'm sending it your way. Which, um, which piece is it? Well, it's hard to tell from the cross-section, but it doesn't look like anything I recognize. Okay, I'll get it prepped when it arrives. Uh, where am I going? No, that's the... <laughs> that's the optional room. You don't go back in there, dummy. Whoa. Hiya, fellas! No, just hold on. Hold on, stand still. Blah. Yeah, that was an entire clip to kill one guy. Cryogenic torch is really not great. Yeah, I agree with Isaac there. Okay. I usually like to keep my health topped up. Because once you go into the red, Isaac loses movement speed. He generally just becomes a lot more sluggish, so... I'd rather not have that happen. Although I did just pick up the compact EarthGov frame, which I think has a built-in speed bonus. I can't remember for sure, so I'm going to throw that on my new weapon. Yep. Increased speed. Excellent. I do need to put all the circuits back again, though, which is unfortunate. But... I'm definitely going to be using this frame on a compact weapon, at least, for the remainder of the game. So I may as well just fully pimp it out. And what do I want to do here? I do want to do damage. Damage and clip, of course. Wait. Damage and then clip. Yes. So that's a reduction in rate of fire and reload. So if I go... Reload and rate of fire. What can I construct? I'm not actually going to make anything yet. 25 tungsten. It costs 25 tungsten for a plus one plus one, but only 20 for a plus two plus one. Ah, oh, but it costs more scrap metal and semiconductors, I see. 
and plus two minus ones cost a little bit less. Okay. What do I want to do here? So I've got reload. Yep. So I'm taking a slight hit in rate of fire, which is not so good on the plasma disperser, but maybe if I increase the damage enough, I can work around that. And that balances out the reload with that. Okay. I also want clip and... I'm not really sure, because it's the arc welder. It's fairly basic, but... I think I might be able to make it... Ugh. That's one way of doing it, I suppose. Damaging clip, why not? <laughs> so that's plus two clip, minus one damage, plus two damage, minus one clip, and plus one damage, plus one clip. What should I put on? Yeah, plus one clip. Fantastic. <laughs> no, I want to go damage. Thank you. Right. I haven't really decided on this last one. I definitely don't want to reduce damage anymore. I think I'll just go minus one reload on that one. I have no idea how much ammo this is actually going to hold now. I think I'm also roughly due for changing my rig. Also, 10 and 18. Pretty damn good. I like it. At the next kiosk, I'll change probably into the N7 suit. I do intend on ending the game on the engineering suit. But I did want to spend a bit of time with these other ones that you get, because some of them I do like the look of. For the most part, I generally stick to one suit at the end of the game. I heard it. Don't you try to fool me. Right. Where are we going? I think it's J for missions? Yes. I do want to explore. I do want to explore. I do want to explore the disposal service. Sooner rather than later. Ellie, how do we know this is even gonna work? Did you find out how they make a codex from all this? Yeah. It looks like they use magnetomic forensic neurology, which produces a data stream stored in the codex. Oh, cool. It's like they lifted the code from the machine right out of her brain. No. Oh, don't remind me. So with the disposal services, this is where the optional missions start getting fucking hard. I remember having a lot of trouble on this one. You're at a very delicate point in the game where your equipment is going to be okay, it's going to be good, but it's not going to be great. It's not going to be fantastic and just let you stomp everything. So what I'm going to do here is get confused for a second before I remember what I was... Alright. Suit chaos first. Should I change into the N7 suit now? I think I probably will. The engineering suit will be last, but I do want to spend a little bit of time with this. In fact, I think I know exactly when I want to put the engineering suit on. Yeah. I have ideas. The N7 suit is one of my favorite looking suits in the game. Very nice basis of black with the red and white stripes. Very cool. I like it. Hang on a second. Distributed by Cosplay Intergalactic Inc. Fantastic. I don't think there's much I can do on upgrades. Maybe stasis? No, that's going to cost too much. Transducer. I might be able to do recharge. Yep, that can be done. And kinesis range? Shit, that's cheap. Yeah, let's do that. One other thing that I found out after doing a little bit of Google, yep, that's a grammatically correct sentence, is that I found the Peng treasure is inside the Reaper Barracks optional mission and you need an upgraded Kinesis module to get it. But unlike the previous two games, it doesn't actually give you any credits or resources or anything like that. It's just for an achievement and I just stored it in the safe. What was I checking here for again? I think I might have left, yeah, I've left my... What is it? Electric charge on my other weapons, so I'll just yank that off quickly. Remove that, and remove that. Done. And now I've got to go back into my safe. Pull this shit out again. 
I feel like there's something else that I was... No, I'm just losing my mind. Alright. I'm gonna make some ammo for this part. 40 will probably be the minimum that I'll need. I'll make one of these. One of these? Yep. I was careful not to go under 450 there, but I pulled it off. And I think that should do. Oh, wait, wait. Forgot something. Still need to replace the cryogenic torch. I'll probably use an anchored bolus for this part. And I also do want to get the rocket launcher working, but unfortunately it needs... Yeah, directed suspension field. And... Wait. Wait. When did I pick this up? I'm certainly not complaining, but that's good to know that I have that. Okay, so... As soon as I can either get or create the safety guard... Can I do it now? I could. Semiconductor... I could absolutely craft that, okay. I'm not going to just yet. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I was like, how does the precision tip work on the survey charge? Alright. You've tempted me, game, but no, I want to pick it up. Hydraulic engine, eh, it's not so great. Military engine, maybe. Imagine your secondary tool being a sniper rifle. I have an underbarrel sniper rifle. <laughs> I love that thought. Durable semi-automatic rifle. I think I tested, did I test these earlier? I don't remember. Pulse rifle's obviously out. Hmm. This has got really good clip and damage, but the speed is not so great compared to this assault rifle. Seems like this burst fire submission. Oh, yeah, it's burst fire. That's probably why its damage is so high. Dang it. Can't stand burst fire weapons. It's definitely just a me thing, but I think I'll go with uh, the assault rifle for this one. Or, unless. No, shotgun. Shotgun will be better. Right. Increased damage and rate of fire. Plus, reload is definitely helpful. That'll be good. And. Clip. Can I do anything else with that? No, not really. Okay. That should do for the moment. I should probably also put electric charge on that weapon, mm, but, but, but lazy. Oh, this one doesn't even have anything. So I have, oh, that's even better. Thanks past me, nice one. <laughs> right, so I'll put electric charge on that. And then Acid Bath on my Plasma Disperser, because why the hell not? Acid Bath and what about Stasis Amplifier? Sure. And this I sh this I should, this I think should be good to go. Yep, also got a Stasis Amplifier. Right, ready. Bring it on Disposal Services. So, 10 and 18. Oh, scavenger bot waiting at bench. Excellent. And 120 and 7. I'm gonna be so happy when I get flame glaze in the ammo box. That is a shitload of ration seals. Good lord. Right. There's also this tram over here, and I... I've never really used this before. I think I bought it at one time in an earlier part. It's been too long at this point, I just don't remember. But they were all locked last time. And all... What's the purpose of this? They even have their little holographic symbols on the left monitor there. But they're all locked and I can't actually go to them, so... What is the purpose? Who do you serve? I have no idea. I would guess that I'm supposed to unlock them somehow, but... There's no point in going back to them, so... You wouldn't need to. I, I don't get it. Might look that up at some point later on. But anyway, this is the Disposal Services mission.
I'm immediately swarmed by fodder. Oh hi. Can you can you don't? Oh wow, that was awful. <laughs> I was jamming on Q to heal and control to roll and I just end up getting chopped into pieces. Right. Not my finest death, I must admit. Okay. Hopefully it saved. I think it did. Right. Wait. I still have... I still have the cryogenic torch. Nope. Gotta go back up. Even with rate of fire upgrades, the shotgun seems a bit shit. I reckon I'm gonna need some plus three circuits before I can make that any good. So I've gotta do all this again. Pneumatic torch, uh, you can fuck right off. I want um, something. Bouncing bowler, uh, that one. Yes. And I've got acid bath on this thing again instead of electric charge. It'll do. Can't be bothered making all those changes again, so this should still be fine. Ooh, five shots. I'll go with it. Oh, it doesn't come up with any text saying optional mission disposal, disposal, disposal surfaces. That's disappointing. You! Um, you were not supposed to get through that. Just so it's clear. Ow. I tried to dodge that and everything. Literally rolled. Come on, shoot. Uh, sir, can you not? Yep. I, wow. I was jamming on Q there like you wouldn't believe. Right. Let's make some actual, wait. Okay, in front of this thing. Let's make some med packs and some ammo and some stasis packs shit that I need to not die telemetry spike? can I make something cool with you? no not particularly tesla coil with directed suspension field I will go through this as many times as I have to game I should Put some circuits on too. I want clip, damaging clip, and reload and rate of fire. That'll do. It's only a plus one to clip, so it'll probably give me six shots instead of five, but better than nothing. Right, let's make some items as well. So let's make these, these, this, one of these, one of this, one of that. Okay. This isn't even the hard bit, by the way. There's still the part where I actually have to defend the stash as it lowers from the elevator. Can't wait for that bit. Oh, now you say optional mission disposal services. What changed your mind, game? Now let's pick a good spot to actually hold out instead of just getting wrecked by, yeah, him. What the fuck are you made of? I pressed Q the instant he hit me. I was just way too late on that. I have to make all this crap again. Yay, great. Isn't it fantastic? And also someone's mowing in the background. That's even better. Love it. Right. 
Right, you put the telemetry spot, no, not that, test the core in the suspension field, and then we can do the um, damaging clip, and then we throw on um, this thing, and then go. Cool. These are not enemies that I should be dying to at this segment of the game. They should be piss easy. But no. Okay. I haven't even changed- I think I know what it is. The first time when I died, I lost my N7 suit. That's obviously what's causing this. I require the power of FemShep Rule 34 to complete my mission. I'm just now realizing that there are checkpoints, but I haven't survived long enough to get to one yet, so that's promising. Right. Got the game face on, got the game suit on, Every everything's on. You can even see that little display in front of my face. It see how long it is? It's, it goes up to 1% on and then it stops being on, it just goes back to zero again. I don't know what that means, but it it's on. Alright, fucko. Right, so you appear easy. You're dead. Right, so far so good. Ouch. Oh no 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 no. I really tried there. It's hard to tell, but. I was jamming on the C key. Not to jinx it, but I think I killed everyone. Finally. I was so expecting to be attacked the moment I said that. Cool. First room complete. Bet you guys are proud of me. Yeah? Empty room? I don't fucking think so. I know your tricks, Dead Space. Uh, oh, you're, you're a new one. Oh, okay. Where's, oh. Where's the goodie from the other one that I just killed? I say as I find the other goodie from the other one that I just killed. Where? Pro tip, reload on the elevator. Actually. If I just keep cancelling the reload, how many of these little canisters can I just discard? Oh, they just fall through the floor. Oh well. Oh no, you can you can go away. You can fuck right off with that. <laughs> he hit me so slowly and so dramatically, but it still got me. Oh, pardon me, sir. Oh, no, 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 fuck off. And one of those as well. Everyone's a gangster until the exploders show up. How much health do I have? Oh, not liking my health situation, but, you know, I should be... Helping myself not die a little bit better, so there's that. What's this? Refuse disposal hall, trash controls, and refuse disposal. Right. I think it's refuse, not refuse. At least when you're referring to, well, to refuse. I think. Oh, this is so gonna be an ambush. There's fucking, there's vents in here. You can't fool me, game. Do I want to initiate the bypass? Any of you guys gonna give me any shit? I'm watching you. Oh, Isaac's arm actually moves around while you're in this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! 
Uh, you're an exploder that's right next to me, eh? Hey. Fuck you. That's what you get for taking but Wait, no. That's what you get for taking cover behind an explosive pustule. Dummy. I can still heal. Okay. Give me something useful. Medium impact, nice. Um. Hmm. Just three lockers to restock? That's all? Okay. Now this room, I think, is the one where it just has a ladder on the opposite side. I think. Does it? Oh, yeah, there's there's a ladder here, but... Huh, okay. So you do have to do this puzzle. I thought, last time I played this, I was like, I saw the ladder that was illuminated by the blue lights up there, which you'll see after this puzzle's done. But I was wondering, why the fuck would I need to lower the bridge when I could have just climbed up the ladder that's over here and it's not even down yet, so... Just make what I'm saying completely moot. Now, you will get attacked as soon as you touch that thing. It's exactly what I say in court, but for some reason it never holds up. Is that a Twitcher? That's a Twitcher, holy shit. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Holy fuck, Anchored Ball, this is the real MVP. What is happening? Help, I'm scared. Help, 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 help. No, 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 no. Are we done? Can I, can I get a breather now? Fuck me. Make sure to get this as well. What's that? Clip and reload. Eh, not bad. Oh, whoops, I rotated that one too many times. And also this one too many times. Oh, that was also a mistake. Oh, but I think we can make it work. Yeah, it worked. Nice. And this one, done. That lowers the bridge and brings this down, I suppose? Maybe? Does it? Don't know. I'm pretty sure it did. Um. Oh. Okay, so it turns out that I just saw the blue lights there and assumed that I could use the ladder, which, you know, any normal person would think, but okay, moving on. I have successfully tricked myself and then proved myself wrong in a single video. That's impressive. Woo, elevators. For those of you still playing the drinking game when Isaac says, Ellie, take a shot. Um, well, first of all, please invite me to your funeral in advance because I will, well, I would like to attend that. But for the other people who are taking a shot every time there's an elevator, then, uh, Rip you. Of course it's never that simple, it's a big room. That's what I love about fighting those guys. I think they're the pack, not feeders. I don't... I don't remember. I remember the pack being pretty much the same as that. I think these are feeders, actually. I'm just completely on crazy pills. I think those are feeders, so the best part about them is when they attack you. Yeah. They just leave shit everywhere. I'm just gonna get rid of that. 
<laughs> you never bother anyone again. Uh, two vents and nothing else? That's suspicious. I still don't trust you, game. I like you and all, but, you know, trust issues. Is this the final route? Oh no, there's more. There's gonna be a power malfunction, isn't that? I fucking knew it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anchored bowlers, you failed me. Yeah. Stomp on his face. Yeah. I'll just throw down a few more for insurance. Hopefully it works this time. Yes. Oh, hiya, sir, Al. Trying to contact me about my car insurance. So, how many med packs am I down to now? Zero. Wonderful. I can't imagine this next area going badly. Well, at least there's a bench there. Well, I'm gonna make a shitload of medium med packs if I can. Oh, clip and reload, I forgot about that. And this should push me, oh, hopefully over 30 ration seals. Oh, 32, excellent, all right. One more ultra weapon and resource pack for me, boys. Let's see what we got. Compact conic dispersal and scope. That's awful. Nobody uses scopes in this game. If you do, you are lying. And compact conic dispersal. Is it? Hold the phone. Is that my second one? It fucking is. <laughs> Yo dog, I heard you like plasma dispersers, so I... Um, that's pretty bad. You disappointed me, game. Son of a bitch. I guess... Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna throw anything on. Yeah, I'll just leave that weapon as it is. I think it might not be a bad idea to bring back my heavy weapon, because I think... Yeah, electric charge, stasis amp. Okay. The carbine is okay, it's possible. Same thing with the shotgun, but... Oh. Not plasma core. What do I even want to do with this? I guess I can probably make... Actually, yeah, let's make a rivet shotgun again. Rate of fire, rate of fire. Yeah, that should be alright. Certainly doesn't beat my chain gun and my... I don't even remember what I've got on the lower tool of this, to be honest with you. Oh, the anchor, anchor balls, of course. Right. Oh, no, we need supplies as well. Stop forgetting about this. Okay. Med pack, med pack, med pack, med pack, med pack, and you guessed it, med pack. Make one more of those just to be safe. I think you can still... What's what I'm looking for? Hold three stasis packs in one inventory slot in this game. I know that was the case in Dead Space 1 and 2. And I'm gonna need a lot of them for this final gauntlet. Also, this is kind of funny. Jesus walked on water? Well, Isaac Clarke can walk on air. He is a Looney Tunes character. You know in Looney Tunes when you walk off a cliff but you don't actually fall until you look down? Oh, this is the wrong weapon. I have no idea what I just fired my chain gun at there, it just... I, it, it exists, I have to kill it. Just find the bolus and put a couple rivets into the wall.
I swear, the Anchored Bolus is straight up one of the best weapons to ever come into this franchise. So fucking good. I do feel like I need to play through this game on a lower difficulty at some point, because if you're playing on something like Impossible, then enemies are so beefy that you don't really get the chance to experience all the game's weapon customizations, because there's only so many things that still become good when enemies can just tank all of your shots. So maybe I'd benefit- oh, full zoom scope, nice. Maybe I'd benefit from playing normal at some point, because I think I've only played through it once before. Clip and rate of fire, not bad. That'll do well on a shotgun. I celebrate picking up the full zoom scope, but I'll probably still never use it. I don't know if it's the full zoom scope that actually does it, or maybe the Mark II or Mark V variants, but I know that in some way the full zoom scope gives you increased damage from aiming down the sights, and you're permanently aiming down the sights if you've got a scope on your weapon in Dead Space 3, so you can't just scope in and then scope out. It doesn't work that way for some reason. So I guess you get a permanent damage bonus at the cost of peripheral vision? Very weird design decision. There's no button to zoom in or out or anything like that. They just had it permanent. But that's part of why I don't really use the scopes at all, because it just perma-zooms you in. <laughs> I was wondering if I could get it through the shelving. Go, little guy. Directly into that post. You're like a Roomba. <laughs> it's very rare for me to find a robot cute, but this game succeeded. Oh, and you just fell apart immediately. And so did you. Okay, I think I'm noticing my mistake. The Anchor Bolus is evidently doing most of the work here, but... I'm not aiming for the limbs as any anywhere near as much as I should be. If that makes any sense at all. They seem to be really tanky. I guess the Anchor Bolus is probably cutting through both their legs at the same time. And it's doing more damage as a result. That's... Yeah, I didn't think about that. Did I see something here? No, picked it up already. Right, explosive storage. Probably storage. Yep, storage. Oh. We know what this means. Scout the room out first, make sure there's nothing. Nothing writhing. I swear there's one of these ice formations somewhere that has a circuit or something you have to pick up with Kinesis. Fuck, scouting, I can scout as I run for my life. Is there an artifact in this room? I think in one of them there is. Oh shit. Ouch. Oh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You better not come around the corner and explode. Ooh. Well, that's definitely gone worse in the past, so, so far, so good. Pick up the artifact quickly. Yeah. Don't. 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 One of you exploding fuckers comes out of that vent. I'm so done. Uh, Cancel the reload animation. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Ouch. Ouch again. That is a twitcher. That's a twitcher. That's a twitcher. Twitcher needs to die. I see some med packs there. Uh. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. I'm not going to shoot you. You're just going to blow up in my face. There we go. I hear a scare cord. And a twitcher.
Your light is still going apeshit. Okay, it's finished. This counts as a breather. Any more? Thought I heard one coming from my right. <sighs> Not like this. Get the fuck out. It's another Twitcher. Bastards are everywhere. Are we done? Nope, there's one more. Hi. Now we're done. Holy balls. I love just killing shit with these weapons and just seeing all the equipment and all the resources, items get spread all over the place and you just run over all of it and jam on the E button to pick it all up. Numb. Like that. Delicious. Right. Ammo sweeper, garbage. Precision tip, good. Ammo clip, compressor, blech. Scaff parts box is good. Conic dispersal is good. Not a bad haul, I must say. I can't remember if I've played around with the Tesla beam in a previous part before. I'll actually, I'll check that now. Right, so, ammo sweeper, full zoom scope, compressor, blah, blah, all this shit. Excellent. I am a wealthy boy. Right, so... Not that. Precision tip, yes. Did I get a Mark V? I did, okay. So, heavy standard carbine with... Alright, so I'm gonna... Oh, no I'm not. <laughs> Shut that idea down pretty quickly. Okay, new plan. Grab that. I might actually... I'll just take this off for the moment. I do want to keep this weapon. So I do intend on playing around with the Earthgov frame at some point in the future, but, you know, impossible difficulty might make that a bit trickier. And if I go that, and then do this, and then put Tesla Core on top, Mark V Precision Tip on top, that'll get me my Tesla Beam again. And for this one, actually, you know what? Let's go, wait. Hmm. Oh, that needs a directed suspension field as well. Okay. Well, I'm done with the optional missions, so what I'm going to do is get confused. I'll put a compressor on that for the bouncing electrified bowler. Yes. And I'll put a rocket launcher. <laughs> it's gonna guzzle all of my ammo. I'll put a rocket launcher on this other weapon. Sounds good to me. This can't possibly end in disaster. Alright, so we've got a heavy standard Mark V supercharged Tesla beam, which is awesome, with rocket launcher. Yep, take your time, Isaac. And a heavy standard chain gun with bouncing balls. Now, I'm aware of the weakness of the rocket launcher, so what I want to do is increase the clip of that as much as possible, so... It just so happens that I have the perfect thing for that, so... Let's see if it goes up to three. I think it might only go up to two. Find out in a second here. I think the most I've ever gotten it up to is four shots before I have to reload. Two. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So I've got four shots with the Tesla Beam and two with the Rocket Launcher. Even though I can clearly see three barrels on that thing, but whatevs. And I've got shit tons of ammo with this. Just 630 shots, that'll see me through for a while. Okay, so this would be a good I want to kill everything in the room weapon. <laughs> Love that animation. Right. I also desperately need some more supplies, so I'll just make a few things while I've got the chance here. Right, so that, and that, that, and that. That should do for the moment. I didn't use as much stasis as I thought I would in that previous room. 
the anchor bolus was definitely the MVP there, so. May have to see what else I can concoct to kill everything. Also, I'm... Oops. I might have mentioned this in a previous part. I'm pretty sure I've... I might have I just intended to mention it, but I forgot. If you're in co-op and you're just punching the crap out of each other inside an elevator, the ceiling vent will just... Sometimes it'll just explode. Even though you didn't actually connect with the vent directly, or at least it looks like you shouldn't have, you just... You will, and the vent will just explode. I don't remember ever getting it to happen in single player before, but it happens quite often in co-op. Oh, hi! So that was the rocket launcher, which didn't kill that guy. So I'm just gonna... ...not do that. <laughs> oh, you survived that! Interesting! Help me, sir. Wow, almost died. E oh crap, there's a guy right up my ass. Yeah. Okay. That went pretty well. If I do say so myself. Do I have... I have maxed out health and armor at this, don't I? Not that, you dummy. Yep. And the stasis is... okay. Oh, I got a shitload of transducers. I think I might increase... Uh, I actually can do this. See, if I upgrade that, that'll bring my transducers to 451. Excellent. But I definitely can't do that yet. I also might as well throw these upgrades in. You need maximum range, uh, not maximum range, upgraded range on Kinesis for the Peng treasure later on. And that's in the Reaper Barracks, which I'm pretty sure is coming up soon. I believe it's in this chapter. It's If it's not, it's very close. But I do want to be prepared to grab that. I don't need it. It doesn't give you anything, but I still want it because I'm very greedy. Fuck you. Do I have some... Oh, I can make one more medium med pack. And one stasis pack. That will do. Okie dokie. It should give me a progress saving pretty soon, because I would like to close things up. It's been a stressful and resource draining mission, even if it was successful. Inventory saving, not good enough game. Give me progress or give me... Well, don't give me death. I'd rather you didn't, but still. There's a part later on that I'm not looking forward to at all. Put it this way, two guys with high ground and rocket launchers and on the ground that is level to you, there's going to be twitches rushing me. And I'm not looking forward to that. I've died... I think I died a couple times there on hardcore, but I've definitely died many times there on normal runs. So that's gonna be fun. Gotta make sure to grab all of these as well. Needs my ration seals after that ridiculously disappointing ultra weapon and resource pack. Um, I'm just gonna check. Okay, it's leading me back to biology. Of all the things I could get out of that fucking Mark V compact conic dispersal again. At least I'm setting a benchmark for effectiveness because I can now disperse twice the amount of plasma. Bow down to me, mortals. I may not be able to repeat plasma, but I can certainly disperse it. I don't like these creaking sounds that I'm hearing around here. Nothing in here is made of wood. This is an unfamiliar form of creaking coming from ice. It's ice creaking. That's weird. Stop it. I've never seen ice before. I live in Australia where everything is too busy being on fire to create ice. A little trivia, Isaac, oh good, you again. Fact. The original marker, the black marker found on Earth, 
Ajá. Ajá. No. I think you're a twat bag. Cool. Sounds good to me. I don't think I can make anything new. Did I pick up anything extra since my last bench visit? No, it was 30 seconds ago and I just didn't grab anything. Right, so that's a progress saving, so I will definitely call it here. In fact, I'm going to walk back to the door and swing around. No, you can close. You're letting cold air in. Thank you. Right, so next time... I'm going to continue assembling my Rosetta Popsicle. Catch you all then.